Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today is going to be a particularly awesome day. And that's because we're not just releasing one video, we are releasing two featuring a wonderful person, Lizzie Hale. She is even more authentic and lovely than I'd imagined. She's just a rare jewel of a human being. And during our interview, we got to talk about all kinds of things, including a lot of collaborations with other artists. And she was so generous and just wonderful and kind in describing these interactions. And you can tell that she really loves getting to work with other artists, especially Amy Lee, which is why today we're going to be looking at Hailstorm's Break-In. This is a duet with Lizzie and Amy. I'm so excited to get to listen to it. This will be my first time. So let's get to it. I really love the tenderness of this. It feels like it's a, a true love song, you know, not like a fluffy, fake, mega crush song, but like genuine love immediately. And that was when I read through the lyrics the first time, that was my impression as well. So this feels like something that is uh, very genuinely about a real life kind of love. Uh, I love the way that Lizzie is being very specific with a lot of her vibrato in particular. It's interesting to hear her holding notes in the middle of a phrase, often without vibrato, and then she'll get to the last one, hold it without vibrato, and then add just a tiny bit of shimmer in at the end that, that's very nice. I also just love the way she moves her mouth. It's She really uses so much of it to enunciate and also to bring in different kinds of timbres and colors. It's beautiful. Let's go back. There are some other interesting sounds in there too. I like that it's kind of sparse too, or sparse. You, you get the point. It's got a beautiful deep huskiness in it. Uh, definitely notice the way she's using her hand. It's one of the biggest things uh, I talk to recording students about is use your hands. When you're in a recording booth, normally you don't have a, a video watching you as well, but at this point, I don't think Lizzie and Amy think too much about videos watching them. Um, if there is no audience that you're needing to engage with out there, that audience is your microphone and it can be something that's incredibly tender. Uh, it's good to use your hands and be expressive, right? Sort of create a picture around. Dimash does this very well on stage too. He's always using his hands. So in a recording booth, sometimes you can feel confined in the space and people become a little bit like a, like a break. They become very stiff. No, 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 let that go, loosen up. See the way she's really being expressive with the hand and singing right into the microphone as if it, she's telling something beautiful and loving into the microphone's ear. That is a great, great recording technique. Follow the ego. Looks like she's longing up for something. And I find myself. 
right in those, there's like a couple moments in here. It sounds like there's just very, very subtle harmonies that might have come in here. On the ooze, baby. Right there on the bottom one, I think. Right there. It's just like some bottom harmonies, I think. Not sure who did that. Might have been Amy, but I don't think she was actually recording it. Like country twang in that. That was fun. Like my eyes started watering there. It just is so heartfelt and so sweet. <laughs> I know I'm a sap, but wow, this was beautiful. Oh man, this is this is such a gorgeous love song. And I love that you have Lizzie's voice in this because Lizzie's voice can have that beautiful, um, it can have a pristine edge to it. I hear a little like country twang entering now and then too, but then there is roughness up. Uh, she adds roughness, especially when she's going for um, very intense emotions, I think is probably when she's adding the most roughness to the sound. And it's never in a damaging way. She's so very smart about her vocal technique. And I think it's a lovely indication of how a person can have rough edges and uh, can fall apart. And uh, at the same time, you can be totally in love with that person or that person can love another person. And it's just this beautiful thing that you love a person as a whole. And I love, um, she's saying in the words, you are the only one, the only one that sees me, trusts me and believes me. Um, the only one that knows me and in the dark to show me. It's interesting how perfectly these lyrics go with Lizzie's sound because you get that idea of a human being that isn't um, a perfect classical singer, perhaps. But instead, you have a human being who is incredibly thoughtful and creative and has this rough side to them, too. And I think it's beautiful. It's just really touch it. Okay, wow. Obviously, I love it. Uh, let's go back and hear a little bit more of it just because I really love it. mouth movement like whoa whoa she's she is really activating all of these articulators and chambers yeah, it's perfectly reckless. Damn, you leave me defenseless. awesome so break They are perfect duet partners. That's gorgeous. Um, wow. I love, love, love hearing their voices together. And I thought it was going to be good, but not this good. Like, wow, perfect, perfect duet partners. There just seems like there's 
so much uh, instinctual understanding of how they stylize things together. I love hearing how they both are going into like a more condensed sound versus airy sound at various times. So they're not just perfectly harmonizing, but their tone matching is just, just gorgeous. And it makes so much sense the way that uh, Lizzie's voice is built, the way that Amy's voice is built. Amy has just a little bit more lightness, so it's really gorgeous to hear her up in that top register and then hear Lizzie's deeper sound. And these two sounds just are perfectly balanced, perfectly matched. I am shocked. It's beautiful. Uh, by the way, they are going on tour together in November, and we have plans to go and see them. I hope you'll make plans too. It's a U.S. tour, and I think it's going to be really, really special, both Hillstorm and Evanescence, and of course, they're going to be doing some things together as well. So I think that's going to be an incredible experience, especially if this is any indication of how amazing it will be live. Okay, whew, let's go back a little bit because this is gorgeous. Then you I want to go back here. You let me fall apart without letting go. It's haunting. Oh, beautiful dynamics together, too. Then you pick up the pieces and you. That's a great example. I love the way that they sang through to the next note there together. And the way that they had um, this, again, this like sort of condensation in the note. And then as they back off of the dynamic and go to I, you hear it suddenly go back to this airy tone in both voices. It's so instinctually right on. And they're even separated too. It's quite a bit of distance between them here in the room. Wow. And you Oh, so escape from the bricks that I lay down. Oh, nice run together too. Ooh, ladies. <laughs> I love that they flipped parts there, right? So now you have Lizzie singing the melody and Amy is harmonizing underneath her there. You see their hands working in different ways to express the things that they're looking for. Looks like Amy is looking almost for this sort of stable structure underneath and just painting it with her hand. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love the soothing aspect that Amy's voice has underneath Lizzie's at this point. Okay, I'm gonna insert your comment right here, but then we're gonna get to this part. I love this build just started and I feel like, oh no, I can't cut it off like five minutes from now, otherwise it'll be too soon. Um, so anyhow, um, I love, love, love the harmonies that they had in this last part. You hear this like way that they both toss notes off at the same time, really beautiful, clear together. Um, I think that their timing is lovely as well. And it feels like, um, the soothing part of Amy's voice almost feels like it's that stabilizing foundation of the kind of love that's being discussed in the lyrics. It's just a beautiful compliment. Okay, go back and catch this build now. You leave me defenseless So break in and take everything I have Till there is nothing left Till it's just yours I 
there's like a deep, um, like an open, warm sound that both of these women have that also has a bright shimmer on it. It's like, it's got the focus point. It feels very much um, in the mask or even sometimes with Lizzie, she gets like a little more snarl in the sound too. Um, I love the way that we have that brilliance mixed with this open, wonderful sound here. It tells me that um, that the placement isn't being forced, um, that you can hear that the sound is generated really in a healthy way. And then um, as a result of really great vocal production in here, it gets to the right placement rather than somebody trying to just shove it forward. It's gorgeous. And when you hear those two things together, they bring this authenticity to it that feels um, just heartfelt. Really, really lovely. I'm gonna go back one more time here. Great harmony. Okay, check out their two mouths together. There's like a little tiny smile. It's not um, like a strong horizontal pull. It's almost like a little smile that's right back inside. A lot of times we talk about having a little inner smile in the sound and that can help with that focus in the front. It's really fun to see this, this camera frame of them both at this moment. It's perfect. <laughs> Love that transition. Yes, this is so cool because Amy is now doing a harmony that's above. That's beautiful. in there. I, I love the way these two women's voices just, they seem to meld together. Beautiful. It's like a, a perfect, um, like a perfect dancing partner in Lindy Hop. I love, I love Lindy Hop. Swing dancing is super fun. And when you find somebody that like fuels the music the same way as you, this like other thing emerges that is just extraordinary and gorgeous. And it's like, it has a life of its own. And right here, it feels like um, you have these two incredible artists and when they put their voices together, something else emerged that is splendid and it is even greater than the two parts and it's gorgeous. I love like the extra shimmer that we get and the way that the voices almost seem like they're like playing with each other as if they become something, yeah, almost beyond just what these two women are. It's so gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> FYI, Kirk, we're gonna have to cut there, shift, shift it back, have a quick cut here. I'm gonna put a little note in. Sorry about that. I was expecting this to resolve at the end and as a result, didn't catch it that it went straight into the next video. And that's because it doesn't resolve. It's so beautiful. It just leaves the voices hanging at the end. It doesn't ever come back to that harmonic home. It's really, really gorgeous. I'm gonna go back to this one more time. This is so beautiful, the way that the voices hover at the end. Okay, 
one of the things about this harmony that's so gorgeous. is that as it goes up to put your lighter, right on lighter, you hear that the voices have gone to unison together. So they start apart, they meet each other in unison, and then Lizzie's voice drops back down as Amy stays up here, and then they move together. Uh, it's really cool. So there's like a beautiful moment of unison, and then back to harmony. I love it. One more time. One more time. And I'm going to let it go all the way through to the end. Put your letter in the air and leave me back. Symbol's perfect there too. <laughs> I'm not sure how many times I said, this is so beautiful, or I love this. It was a lot. I'm kind of curious about that count. So if you want to count that up and post it below, let me know. And I think that the two voices could not have found a better match. So gorgeous. The way that Lizzie's like huskiness and uh, the deep sound matches Amy's deep sound, but the haunting quality of her voice as well. And the specific way that each of them belt and have a certain kind of resonance and the way that they're shaping their mouths, even in a similar way, it's brilliant and beautiful and a perfect, perfect match. I am. Uh, I stand in awe. And the, the lyrics too. It's like they're the truest kind of true love where you love a person with the rough edges and, you know, through all of the mistakes. It's just beautiful. Uh, don't forget we have an interview with Lizzie premiering right after this video. I hope you will join me there. And I hope you'll let me know in comments what other songs you would like to hear. Write that in the comments down below this YouTube video. You can find me here every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. You can also find me on Patreon and at thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you somewhere soon.